All right, we're here at my tiny worm bin, and the moment that the executive producer and I have been procrastinating about and not looking forward to is we are gonna count every single worm in this tiny worm bin. Now, it has been forever since we started this out. It was 190 days ago, and we have not fed it for 49 days. So, the whole thing's been going for 190 days. Let's pour it out and start counting. So something tells me this is gonna be harder than any of our last ones because it is really wet, but check out all these worms. Now we started with 500 and I'm just gonna keep pulling from what we have in here and put on this pile real quick. Now this is a super fun bin to run because it's so small. It can fit in a college dorm or an apartment or in a kitchen cabinet beneath the sink. Well, we started with 500 worms and we're gonna count every single worm out because I wanna know how much they populated. And when we started 190 days ago, we only gave it 11 feedings. Usually I feed about every 10 days. So typically I'd have 19 feedings in this time, but something we tried to do was feed it a little bit less and keep it a little bit more moist at the beginning and then dry dry at the end. But because I went on a big long trip and then we came home, we kind of procrastinated, I put some plastic on top to keep it moist because I was a little worried about the worms and we haven't fed them. So first indications are we have some great castings here. They're just a little bit more wet than usual. So things may get a little sticky. And right here, let's see if we can get this up. But this right here is a cocoon. So things are still producing. All right. So we have our little tub right here and let's get to counting. Baby, right there. One, two, three, 50. So we've counted out 50 so far. Executive producer, how many do you think are going to be in here? Um, <laughs> Started with 500. I'm saying 800. Oh, wow. I'm saying 650. <laughs> 650. Okay. Yeah. When we first started, before we poured it out, I was like, oh, we haven't done as well with this round just because we hadn't fed it so much and we left it for so long. But first poured it out, I kind of liked it. 98. And then nine, come on, 100, 100 worms right there. If you're wondering what 100 worms looks like. And my initial impressions right now is there's a lot of baby worms in there and the castings are a little bit muddy or almost not muddy, but more like kind of clay or Play-Doh. So this is probably gonna be one of my more difficult cullings or my more difficult countings that we're gonna have of these worms. So let's keep going. Look at those babies. Lots of babies in there. This is not going to be fun to count all these. Yes. You could take a guesstimate. No way. That defeats the whole purpose. Look at all these babies. This is going to take forever. I might change my count. This is going to take forever. How, how long have we been doing this? 14 minutes. 99. 200. All right, right in there. That's what 200 worms looks like. And again, just so many babies in here. So I'm going to I'm gonna count babies on the edges and then I'm going to come in and get some wins by counting some big ones. So let's keep going. So like when I see one, I can't like undo it. Yeah. 18. I can't just ignore it. And you can definitely see their little pink bodies in there. Yeah, it's the contrast. I want to show real quick. You can see the pinkness in these brand new baby worms. So if you're ever wondering, is it a pot worm or is it an earthworm? These are red wigglers and they are pink right from the get-go. So if you're seeing white worms, then pretty good chance it's a pot worm. But if you're seeing any tinge of pink, there you go. You've got your compost worms. Oh, 300. Oh my goodness. All right. So that's what 300 look like. Now, this is from me growing them. This is our fifth run of this tiny worm bin. So if you order 300 worms, they're probably going to be a lot chunkier in this because whoever sells them to you is going to want to have nice fat worms for you. But when you feed them food scraps and your cardboard shreds and your leaves, they are going to shrink down because they're going to get something other than carbohydrates. So I like that we have many, many mouths and they eat a lots of food scraps and reproduce really quick. Come on, big ones. Nine, get off my finger. 100, there is 400 worms right there. Oh my gosh, again, so many babies. I bet when we get to the end, they're gonna be a bunch of big ones, but this is a nice little worm ball. That is pretty much solid worms in there and very cool. So 400 right there. Let's keep going. How many did you say? 600. How many did you say? 800? Yes. 
for you. That is six. <laughs> Maybe you trying can. to keep me from keeping my count. Ninety nine. Let's get a big one. Big one. Big one. Five hundred. Oh my gosh, 500 worms. I am exhausted from counting. Here is the 500 worm bowl right there. Lots of babies, like I've been saying, but we are getting some big ones in there too. So I am not sure why they have produced so many babies. I don't know if it's because it's been so long since I fed them or what the deal is, but now that I've played with them, I've got a bunch of the worms on my finger. So it's going to take me a minute to get these off. Counting them is not my smartest move. This may be the last time we ever count. <laughs> I am serious. This is, everybody tells me I'm crazy and they are right. Yes. And this yes. is. <laughs> Today they are right. 500. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We're going to be here forever. So we're at 540. 540. Okay. So if you have, if you went over, you don't win. You have to have it set. You have to have guessed exactly or under. What? What number are we on now? Oh my gosh, you don't even know. <laughs> what is it? It's 540. Oh gosh. All right, 41. I thought we lost our count. This is what we have in here so far with 650 worms counting. 455. Oh, 655. We've already passed your number. No, 555. Oh, this is 555. Oh, oh. Come on. 600. 600 worms right there. Just kind of spread them out a little bit and let you see what 600 worms looks like. Craziness. Right, let's keep going. One hour and we're at 633. Hi, Karma. 99. Get a big one. 700. 700 worms right there. Turn them over for you. 700 worms. If you're looking to count and you want to kind of estimate with your eyes, that's what 700 looks like. And back to it. 800. 800 worms inside there. Let's lift it up for you. It's getting a lot heavier. 800 worms. That's what it looks like, folks. You, what? What? What I do? If there's a pink one and you see it, you can't throw it in the d bin. Ah, uh, you can't say d <laughs> before. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now all of a sudden you're like wanting to count every worm. I already lost them, so did you. I just said a thousand. Okay. Nine hundred. Ugh, stuck to my thumb. Nine hundred. Oh my gosh, I'm afraid to even put my hands in there because then they will they'll stick to my hands, but oh well, I just want to show you. That right there is 900 worms, minus about five on my fingers here. But you get the picture. Right now, as I'm digging through this, I'm mostly finding really small juveniles. So we'll see how much longer I can last before I start overlooking them, before we get to 1,000. There's 900. 90. Eight, ninety-nine. Come on, one thousand. One thousand worms in here. One thousand. That is incredible. One thousand worms. Lots of babies. Thick castings, but that's okay. I am going to say that there's probably at least 10 to 15 more in here, but they are going to go with the rest of the castings that are in here. Actually, no. One, two. Thirty. Right there. <laughs> thirty. One thousand thirty. No more counting. Don't look. Don't look. I think one thousand thirty is what we're gonna go with. Now this is a lot of castings, and yes, we are gonna have some babies in there. I'll weigh it and I'll put down exactly how much this weighs in castings. I know there's some babies in there. I did my best to count them all, but castings that are kind of more wet like this, look, it is like Play-Doh. It does not crumble real easy, just kind of big pieces. But this kind of castings, this kind of vermicompost is great for making worm casting tea. It's a little bit harder to mix in with your soil. So you may want it a little bit drier and you can do that. You can dry it out, spread it out a little bit, maybe put a newspaper over it for about six hours out on a tarp or something like that after you've uh, gotten rid of all the worms. But I'm going to use this for worm casting tea. I'm actually going to put it in a separate container that I will use for worm casting tea. I'm also going to put a bait cup in so that we can get some of those babies out. We also have a lot of cocoons. Not a, not a, like a ton ton, but we got a decent amount of cocoons. So my conclusion after all this counting 
counting is that this bin likes to be somewhere around 1,100 worms. I think that is its carrying capacity. So no matter what I do, it doesn't matter if I start with 800, 400, after we get kind of to the point where it's time to harvest, it's gonna have somewhere around 1,100 worms in it. And this is a three gallon container and it's about a shoe size box, a men's, you know, maybe size 12, a little bit deeper than that. But that's about how much worms will fit into one of these. And it doesn't matter. Like I said, start with fewer worms in a, in a smaller bin and work your way up. And then with those worms, you can split them and maybe start another worm bin. So I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're not having as exhausting a day as I am because this is the last time we are going to count this tiny worm bin out in its entirety. So happy vermicomposting, everybody. Take care now. Worms on your fingers. Worms oh are on your fingers. Ah, worms on my fingers. 1,031. 1,032. The end.